Hey everyone, my name is Michael Terrell. I'm the Director of Instruction here at Dev Code Camp. I want to talk to you about our web development course, which is our one of our more popular courses. Uh, specifically, I want to talk about the MERN stack, which is the technology stack that we use in that course. So specifically, I want to talk about, you know, what is the MERN stack and, and why we selected it to teach it in this course. So first off, MERN is an acronym that stands for MongoDB, Express.js, React.js, and Node.js. So MongoDB is going to act as your database. Uh, specifically, we use MongoDB Atlas, which is a cloud database. So that allows us to do things with uh, Mongo's cloud services and really opens the door to cloud computing. We then use uh, Express and Node and combine that to be the back end of the application known as the server side. So Node is a JavaScript uh, environment that allows you to run server side JavaScript. And Express is what allows you to develop on top of Node, which creates this web application framework. So this builds the entire back end of your web application framework. Uh, this allows you to do lots of really cool stuff uh, behind the scenes. Now, React is the front end technology that we chose uh, to build out the front end of these applications. So front end being that's what the users are going to interact with. So when you go to Instagram or walmart.com or Facebook or whatever it is, and, and you're interacting with those applications, that is the react.js side of things that you're interacting with. And funny enough, those three companies I just mentioned all use React as their front end. So if you ever use any of those apps, you are actually interacting with React.js. Now React is super popular, it's super powerful, um, and which is a big reason why we chose it. It's growing in popularity uh, and a lot of companies are looking for React developers. Now, the reason why we chose MernStack for the web development is because it is the full stack JavaScript. And what that means is we have JavaScript code on the front end, we have JavaScript code on the back end, and this makes it for these languages and these libraries to uh, interact with each other. Uh, MongoDB is also just a NoSQL database that's very popular with this stack. So whether you're using the mean stack or MERN stack, which once again, MERN is what we're using, uh, you're gonna see a lot of similarities. And that's the beauty of this is we're not just gonna teach to these technologies specifically, although that is something we are doing, but it's not the only thing we're doing. We're also teaching you how to be a well-rounded developer. Uh, so collaboration, communication, problem solving, critical thinking, researching, all of this is gonna go into uh, your coding uh, experience and your coding environment and become a really great developer. So MernStack be, being such a popular uh, stack that, like I said, Instagram and Walmart, they build their applications using MernStack. A lot of companies are looking to hire developers that know MernStack. JavaScript is continuing to grow in popularity. And, and what better way than to know front-end JavaScript and back-end JavaScript? So I highly encourage you enrolling in our web development course uh, and learning MernStack. We spent a lot of time with it, you know, going through the very beginning to the very advanced stuff with it, uh, building some awesome web applications, whether they're individual projects or with a partner or as a group and really understanding the difference between individual work and collaboration. We're once again, all focusing on the MernStack.